Hey everyone, Jay Martinez with Fight Hub TV. I'm here with a heavyweight icon, Evander Holyfield. How are you today? I'm great, great. Just here, hanging out. Fans love you. I always see people always around you. You're still, you know, people's champion. Let's say that, you know. you still been retired for two, 10 years. People still love you. How does that make you feel, Evander? Uh, it's good, it's good. But it's, it's better the way and how you conduct yourself. You yeah. Conduct yourself well, you're gonna come out well. Like I said, you know, you've been out the ring for about 10 years now. You have a six-round fight against Kevin McBride, June 5th, and the undercard for Teofimo Lopez versus Cambosas. How did this all come along? Well, it, it, started, it started, you know, people, they got an opportunity to see me work out, and, and, and Tyson just was happened to work it out at the same time. And, and they came up with it, like, what would happen if they fight again? Uh -huh. And it looked like it was going to happen, but it, it didn't. And uh, so since it then, uh, Kevin McBride came in, you know, he's the last guy that beat Tyson. And so uh, a new dance partner. <laughs> Definitely a new dance partner. You know, you're obviously not 25 years. So, you know, times have changed. You know, the muscle memory's still there. How's training camp going this time around? What are the changes you're doing this time around? Well, you know, you know, of course I've been, I've been, you know, practicing for a whole year. Uh -huh. And, and you know, I, but I was doing that just to stay in shape, and and, and I kind of felt that if I stay in shape, you know, the virus wouldn't get me. <laughs> like that. So, uh, and so, but and that's the whole big purpose. I want to say when I get to your age, I, you look. Perfectly fit. You look extremely fit. Like you've been staying, you know, like you said, a whole year. It, it shows. I think you can do more than six rounds come on June fifth, right? Well, well I'm telling you, it's, a, it's an eight round. It's an eight round. Eight rounds. So, you know, it's, you know, it's, I, I was reading. I was reading those six rounds, but if it's eight rounds, I mean, you still you could probably do more than eight. You could probably do twelve rounds. So I mean, uh, well, you know, they pay me for eight. <laughs> I'm gonna do eight. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you mentioned Mike Tyson. You know, you know, the, the money was there. Obviously, some negotiations didn't go through. Are we going to be able to see that fight again? Because people are itching. You know, do you want it? It seems like you do. Mike Tyson wants it also. The fans want it. That's something that is going to sell. Well, that's what I'm saying. I'm talking about it's pretty much a no-brainer when we come down to talk about performance and, and, and we doing it at the age that we're doing it, which, you know, is, but what is the people expecting to see? You know what I'm saying? The thing is that, you know, they will get a chance to see what I can do in this fight, you know, but if you take one bite at a time. You know, when we saw Mike, Mike Tyson versus Roy Jones Jr., I'm going to be honest with you. When I watched that fight, I felt like a kid, like a teenager. Once again, the Aurora in my house, I was like, oh my gosh, they just brought so many memories. And now, when this fight, hopefully it does happen, I want it to happen, I believe the fans are going to be very happy to see this one more time? I, I, I think so. I think so. I, the thing is, is people getting the, their very best. You know what you're talking about? 58, you know, and, you know, my fight might not be 59. You know? <laughs> you, you, <laughs> I'm coming close to it because I'm October. I, you know, I'll be, you know, be 59. You know, we know Mike Tyson, you know, we know his history, you know the history, the fights that you had between you. I believe something possibly happened. It's Mike Tyson, anything can happen. If Andrew Holyfield in the field, in the ring, anything can happen. Could we see something more than extraordinary in that fight? Well, the, the thing is, the thing is, being in shape is just, this one of the, the thing that my mom always lives to son, it's up to you. Mm -hmm to tear your body up, man. Mm -hmm. Don't tear it up. <laughs> you, know, you know, my mama wanted me to be better than her. That's what it is. And it's just a sense when, it shows you what love really is, when you can make the mistakes that you made, but you, you don't want your kids to make those same mistakes. You want them to be better. Exactly. Like I said, June 5th, you're in the undercard. Tell me more, more about Teofimo Lopez. He's making a lot of noise, and I'm saying in a good way. You know, how does that feel? Do you believe that your fight could probably take the spotlight off that main event? Well, if the thing is, my job is to be the very best that I could be. 
you know, you got to understand. Them, I was, I was making a lot of noise then too. <laughs> yeah. I just, I ain't getting ready to scream and holler and, <laughs> and, and promise somebody much of nothing right now. Because the point of the matter, you, you, I don't know if I can do it because I never did it. Yeah. I'm talking about how many people you see at the day <laughs> actually climbing back in the ring. <laughs> now I'm, you know, hoping that, you know, I do well. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you, a lot of people are going to tune in to the undercard, you want to see Holyfield, as you can look prepared, the Mike Tyson comes along. Last question, you know, there's a lot of criticism in the boxing atmosphere with these quote-unquote celebrity fights. What's your take on it? You know, do you believe it brings more attraction to the sport? Yes, sir. I, I do. I think, I, I think anytime you can get somebody to mimic you, you're doing something good. Yeah. I'm like, like boy, you know. This about this is a sport, I, but it takes courage to get in there. I think that when other people get in, they 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 get respect for the bond and they say, "Oh shoot, you know what? You know, you better be a smart man if you go in there. You better know what you're doing. You better make sure you're in good shape and all that." I, I think that really give people confidence. Have you talked to Jake Paul? Any advice have you given him recently? Well, you know, he, you know. He came to the gym, and you know I'm telling, I'm telling, I'm telling he actually is a good student. And he listened real well, and 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 and, and you know he very knowledgeable about who you are gonna pick. I'm comes that's what life is about. That's the choice that you choose. Yeah, and to reclarify my 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 questions, like you know, have you spoken to him today? You know what kind of. You know, suggestions you give giving into the fight because you know the jitters come in. So, well, you see, that's reason I don't like to talk to people at this time because you know what, I don't want to get blamed <laughs> by what me, what I, you know, what you tell. I'm some people would want to listen to me at mm. this period of time, and then you know what, if it don't go that way, they can say, "Look, man, you know, I listen to him. Man, well, look what happened to me." <laughs> but the thing is, you, you tell the person, well four time where they could practice it. I, get, I, I ain't expecting to say something to somebody who I don't know, no work out properly and do the right thing. Then they gonna blame somebody. But you get a person time you 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 go over it and they hit the bag and all these things like that, then then it's kind of, you know, then it's structure. You know, they can apply. Mm -hmm. and, you know, so you know when you know when I talk to uh when I talk to my man, you know what? He he came to my gym. So, you know, I'm like, you know, I realized that he can really fight. And a lot of people think he just, I said, okay, well, go in there with him then. <laughs> he can really fight. He He's a really big fight. boy. He's a big boy. But not, it's not how big you are, it's how you perform. I said, you know, and I think sometimes people tend to think that, that if you ain't start at a certain age, then, you ain't doing that but trying to poke fun, you just make a thing. Okay. Get in there with him then. <laughs> I mean, you think you're good. I'm the guy actually got a good foundation. He got a very good foundation in, in, in the game of boxing. Could you see him, you know, making this going on for more years, even possibly facing top fighters, you know, in the 190 division and his division? Could you see him possibly doing that, or you know, just more of these fights what he's taking on? Well, I'm saying, you know, you, it, that's what knowledge come in. Mm. How, knowledge and understanding to how far you want to take this. I'm telling you, know, if if I were directing some, it's how far I'm gonna take it. You know, if I, I think that he he can he can do well with a lot of people. But and the point of doing well and win is a whole totally different thing. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, and, 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 and the game of boxing, that's how it is. You know, I'm telling you, you know, he doing real well and he, and he making a good living for himself. A I'm very good you, living. <laughs> now, why would you want to go another step? No more than, no more than. Your confidence is that great, you're willing to take that chance. But my own thing is that if it's just a lifestyle, he got a great lifestyle. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm saying I'm, that, that's what life is really about. What type of lifestyle you want to live and be comfortable in it and, and say, you know what? 
I'm the very best. But all these guys that think they the very best and and and, and never box and do this, come on in here. I I, I know I beat all y'all. Bring them onto your gym, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm just out of the game, man. It's, it's you know it's. I'm gonna catch you a little bit on a different question with this. Who's your favorite fighters at the moment right now? There's a lot of top fighters right now. Uh, Who's your favorite fighters that you want to, that you'd like to see? Nah, it's it's kind of hard now because we, the fact is, you know, all this time that I'm lapped around, you, I really don't want to have my head wrapped around all the fighters, you know. You know, I just know that the heavyweight division is, you know, you went with, with um, Tyson Fury, you know, and Deontay, Deontay, Anthony Joshua, and Joshua. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm just waiting for them to mix it up, mix it up more, and get them on, on fighting a little bit, little bit more regular. I think it, it, it can it can uh, benefit the game. Well, speaking of the heavyweight division, Anthony Joshua versus Tyson Fury. How would you see that fight going once I, it's in? I'm to make it go either way. Cause both, I'm like you know. You know, Joshua, Anthony Joshua is just a good fighter when he want to be. He just, is is he up for it? I believe that if he up for it, it's going to be a tough fight. And, and Tyson Fury, I'm like, he's amazing. Hey, I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm talking, actually, he, he really amazing. I'm like, you know, he looked beatable, but, Ain't nobody beat him. <laughs> I'm like, I'm so, I'm, 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 I'm so, can't take that from a guy that, that can't know. They try to beat him. I'm saying, he come in, and you know, he tend to fight everybody who want to fight. And I, I'm so, so I'm, I'm you it's like, actually, it, it's like, I, I think that, I think because he knew how to make adjustment, it can be difficult. But I think if there's any one person that could beat him, I think. I think uh, after Joshua have the, I think he have the better chance uh, out of everybody. You know, I, I, you know, I actually thought that uh, if uh, what is his name, uh, Deontay. Deontay, with, with Deontay, you know, I thought Deontay had him. I'm he hit him, <laughs> floored him, <laughs> but Wait, he got back up. He got back up. <laughs> I'm like. I said, so what do you say about a man who get back up? He could have quit. He got back up. He got back up and you know, I'm telling you, and, and you know, and, and, and that's, that's what boxing is about. It takes, it tell you the character of the person and the thing they go through. And so the point of, the point of life is, are you willing to make adjustment when, when things don't go, go your way? This is interesting points that you bring up, and I like all that you said, and, and I'm excited to see you June 5th. Again, like I told you, it's like in Aurora, and I'm in my room when I saw Mike Tyson and Roy Jones Jr. Now that I get to see you once again, so I'm looking forward for your fight. I thank you so much, Evander, for your time and speaking with us at Fight Hub TV, and we'll speak again. Thank you so much. Thank you.